This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. Like ArcGIS Desktop, in ArcGIS Pro, the data or layers shown in the contents window merely point to the actual data files. The data files are not physically saved within the map document or map project. If the project was moved to another folder, to a different drive on the computer, or opened from a renamed folder, then the link between the data file and the project may be broken. In this chapter, we demonstrate how to repair a broken data link. Let's begin by opening our Chapter 2 project. After opening a project, or after importing an MXD file from ArcGIS Desktop, if red exclamation points are displayed beside the layer name and the contents, the link to the data is broken. We can repair it by right-clicking on one of the layer names, clicking on Properties, and in the Layer Properties dialog box, click on Source. Note that your data is a shapefile, and that shapefile's original location was under this directory. Click on Set Data Source. In the Set Data Source dialog box, navigate to the location of your data. Select the data with the matching name, make sure they match up, and click on OK. And click on OK. Your data shows in the Layers window, and the red exclamation point is gone in the Layers. If you have many layers that are broken, you can filter those to show just those layers that are broken. Click on the Filter, click on Broken Data Link, and that shows only the broken data links. Now let's investigate a different way of repairing your broken data links. Click on the red exclamation point itself. That takes you directly to the Change Data Source dialog box. In fact, it remembers the last location you were. If it didn't, just navigate to the location of your data files and select the correct data file and click on OK. In this case, it repaired the remaining data file as well, but if it didn't, you'll have to go repeat that uh, procedure for your other broken links that are left. Now we have demonstrated in the first three chapters setting up projects. In the next chapter, we discuss adding data.